Joining me now is trainer Mike Metters. He has Come On Sloopy Hang On in this upcoming Ohio Breeders Championship for Older Horses. And Mike, Come On Sloopy Hang On, a classy horse in his own right, over $200,000 in career earnings, and a mark of 152 and 2. That was taken this season. Tell me a little bit about that record setting effort. Well, uh, Sloopy likes to kind of likes the front end. He did that right on the front end, 52 and 2 at Sido Downs earlier this year. He doesn't have a whole lot of backing in this particular race, perhaps because he hasn't fired of late. What would you say, if anything, is hurting him at this point? Well, you see, I, uh, we've had a little problem with him, you know, tying up and internal things all year, really, and he's kind of just getting over that again, and so I look for him to be a little better today. Three starts back, I believe, the addition of Lasix, a big plus? Well, it hasn't been since I put him on Lasix. He hadn't raced, raced like he was racing prior to that. Um, but he did bleed, so I thought the Lasix would help him out. Do all horses not react the same to the medication Lasix? I, I found they don't. You know, I have to. You have to uh, experiment with the amount you give. We're allowed to give between two and five cc's here, and I and and uh, sometimes a little they'll dehydrate too much if you give them five cc's. So you have to cut it back a little bit. All right, come on, Sloopy, hang on. As I said, a classy horse and certainly capable if things fall his way. What are you expecting today? I think he'd be all right today. He, uh, the track's a soft track, and a lot, a lot of his problems come from his feet, too, so that'll help him out a lot. A uh, ten-horse field, it's hard to say, because, I mean, it, it's just, uh, it just makes it tough, and there's ten pretty nice horses out there. Well, lots of traffic, but if things are looking up, maybe perhaps in the 14th race where you have Meadowland Don from the rail. Wonderful to have that pole position. Yeah, it seems like it is on this track. It helps you out a lot to be able to get out of there, you know, on, from the inside. Meadowland Don, a fantastic two-year-old for you, actually, Mike. But uh, perhaps the most bitter defeat last time out was in the $100,000 Super Night Ohio Sire Stakes at uh, Scioto Downs, where he went post with the favorite and wasn't able to perform to his utmost best. Any particular excuse? No, we don't really have any excuse that we could find. Uh, he just, just wasn't pacing like he was pacing the uh, eight prior starts. He uh, uh, he made a break at the three-quarter pull, and he just uh, doesn't usually do that. And, and uh, Hopefully, he'll come out today and uh, have that all behind him, I hope. So what's a trainer to do when he really can't pinpoint anything? Well, we made a few changes on the little, uh, on you know, some slight changes in his shoeing and his and his hobbles, and uh, just took blood to see if he was sick or something like that, and uh, and uh, just did things like that to do the best we can to get him right for this race. What about warming up over today's race course? He really re warmed up real well. I mean, he felt good, and he was on the iron, and, and it felt real good. Is that a good indicator? It. He warmed up better than he did at. Uh, the other night at Scioto, so I hope that's a good indicator. Well, I'm sure he still has your backing. Metal and Don, what a nice colt. Yeah, he's been a real nice colt, and other than that race last time out, which went for all the money, but <laughs> he's been a real nice colt for us. All right, well, we'll excuse that one. Just chalk that up to one of those things. But good luck today, Mike, and thank you. Thank you. And let's go back over to the infield.